Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's nice to have you again on a wonderful day as this. Please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that now. Subscribe, like, and follow up with a comment. I'll be sure to meet you there. All right. I know most of you are familiar with your blood groups, but if you do not know your blood group, please, I advise you to check it out and be sure of it for emergency purposes and just for your information. When you see that sign attached to your blood group, whether A positive, B positive, or O positive or negative, whichever, that's your rhesus factor. Now, the rhesus can either be positive or negative, all right? If it's positive, it means you have the rhesus antigen, which is D, and if it's negative, it means you do not have the rhesus antigen. All right, it has nothing to do with how healthy you are. You are perfectly healthy, so plus, minus, plus, or whatever, it doesn't really matter much. It only matters when it comes to blood transfusion or childbirth. A racist positive person can receive blood from a racist positive person and also a racist negative person, but a racist negative person cannot receive blood from a racist positive person. When a racist positive person receives blood from a racist negative person, because the person already has the racist antigen, nothing happens and that's okay. But when a racist negative person receives blood from a racist positive person, the racist negative person doesn't have the racist antigen initially, and so introducing the racist antigen into the person's blood, the donor's blood, would then cause antibodies to be produced against that foreign antigen that came in. And so the body begins to fight all these red blood cells and that causes some problem. Although when it happens the first time, it doesn't cause much of a problem. But if it happens again, that means if a racist negative person um, receives blood from a racist positive person for the second time, it really causes a lot of transfusion problems. Transfusion reactions can cause a lot of problems for a person. It can manifest in things like fever, severe hemolysis, where the antibodies will be fighting against the red blood cells that you receive, and that can cause a lot of problems, jaundice, and so much more. All right, so in order to avoid all these complications, it's best you know your resource compatibility. And a racist positive, a racist negative person should not get blood from a racist positive person. For the pregnancy complication, now if a racist negative woman gives birth to a racist positive child for the first time, during the cutting of the umbilical cord, there is an exchange of blood between the mother and the child. And in this course, antigen from the racist positive child goes into the racist negative mother. And then the racist negative mother begins to create antibodies to fight these racist antigens that came into her body and she fights them off but the antibodies remain intact with her now nothing happens to the mother she's safe and the baby is also safe and very fine when this woman wants to give birth a second time probably to a racist positive child now the antibodies which she developed from her last delivery like i said would mix up again with this new child's blood and so antibodies against the antigen of the racist would come into the child and begin to cause problems for that child. Yes, a lot of problems will be caused hemolysis, death of the red blood cells of the child. This can really eventuate in something we call eristoblastosis fetalis. We also call it the hemolytic disease of the newborn and it can really, really be so much problem for this child. So in order to be on the safer side, know your racist compatibility know your racial status whether it's positive or negative now the good thing is that these racial um, issues or these racial transfusion um, problems can be prevented in children yes your gynecologist will know what to do so whether you're racial positive or racial negative don't worry about that all right when you're giving birth your doctor will lecture you on the best plan and how to go about it and you can deliver safely without any complications all right take care of yourself be sure of your resource compatibility, plus or minus matters. Take care of yourself. So remember to like this video, comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Have a nice day.